Hi, in this video, we are going to see how to view a worksheet by different methods. Let's see those one by one. The very first thing which we have is hiding and unhiding columns and rows. Let's see first how to hide a column. If you want to hide a column, you just need to click on the column heading and then you can just right click on that option and you'll get an option as hide and unhide. So first I'll show you how to go for height. Just click on height and the row gets hidden, column gets hidden. Similarly, if I want to hide multiple columns like this, so I'll select two columns now, column F and column I, and I can just right click on the column and I'll say as hide. So once I click on that, now if you observe E, F is hidden, G, H, I is hidden. So right now I've hide, hidden three columns. What if I want to unhide the columns? I can use different options. But the simplest one is you just select all and you can just right click on the column heading like this and you can say as unhide. So once you click on unhide, so you can see the column which is C, F and I which will be shown now. You can see C, F and I which is shown. Similarly, if you want to hide the rows, the same method. So you just select the rows like I have selected three rows, 6, 9 and 13 just right click on the row heading and you can click on hide. So the three rows which you can see after five directly there's a seven. If you want to see any one of the row so you can just expand it like this and you can see the row which is ninth row but if you want to unhide all the rows the same method you just select all right click on the column head row heading and then you can click on unhide. So you can see all the rows are shown. Now the next one which we have is freezing panes. What exactly freezing panes is? Suppose we have some heading given and we want to freeze the pane of the first row. So we can use an option in the view tab and you can see there's a freeze panes and there are three options. The simplest one is freeze top row. So if I click on the freeze top row, the first row which is here that is viewing workbooks will be freezed. So I'll click on this option. A thin line is appeared. Now if you keep on scrolling down, the first row will be static whereas the other rows will be dynamic. So sometimes when there are column headings, that time it can be used. If you want to unfreeze that, you can use the same option, freeze panes and you have to unfreeze panes. So that will be unfreezed. Similarly, if you like to have the row headings, so you can freeze the first column itself. So you keep your cursor anywhere, doesn't matter. Freeze panes and you can see the third option that is freeze first column. So I'll just click on the freeze first column and you can see a thin line which has appeared. So if you keep on scrolling on the right hand side, the first column will be freezed. And if you want to unfreeze that, you can just click on freeze panes, unfreeze panes. But it is not necessary that every time we might get first column and first row for freezing. Sometimes you might get three columns and four rows or depends. So wherever you want to freeze, just keep a cursor like this. If I, I want to freeze suppose three columns. So after three columns, I can keep my cursor in the fourth column. And if I want to freeze two rows, so keep the cursor in the third row. Next is, so wherever your cursor is there, above that all the rows will be freeze and before that all the columns will be freezed. So my cursor is in this place. So this three columns A, B, C will be freezed and this two rows that is one and two will be freezed. So I'll just go to the freeze panes and if you see this keeps rows and columns visible while the rest of the worksheet scrolls. Now if you see carefully the icon, Wherever the cursor is there on the left hand side and on the top it will be freezed. So I'll just click on this freeze and if you see the three columns and two rows have been freezed. So if you scroll on the right hand side or if you scroll on the top or bottom. So if you see two rows are been freezed and three columns are freezed here. So this way freeze can be used. But as I said you can be uh, you can make this columns and rows static for some place. But imagine if you want to use it for temporary purpose that time you can go for the split panes. Right now I'll just unfreeze it. I'll go to view tab, freeze panes and unfreeze panes. So right now it is free totally. Now the next topic which we have is split panes. What exactly is split panes? Split panes is temporary whereas freeze panes is permanent. So now if I keep my cursor, if I want to uh, compare different columns, let's say I want to compare the C column with, let's say I want O column. So how do I do that? If I want to compare C column, keep your cursor in the next column itself like D. So wherever your cursor is there on the left hand side, a split will be done. So in the view tab, I'll go to split. 
So once I split, there will be a line which will be dividing. Now if you observe, there's a line which has come here, but you might get a two horizontal scroll bars. So if you see at the bottom, there's one scroll bar and on this right hand side, there's another scroll bar. So now you can compare the screen. If you want to compare C column with O column, now you can bring that, right? Otherwise, if you want to compare any column with any column, you can do that. So split pens is very useful. Plus the advantage is if you don't like it, if you don't work it, and if your work is done, you can just double click on it and it will go back. The split panes will go back. Similarly, if you want to compare two rows, let's say you want to compare fifth row with 25th row. So that time you can just keep your cursor in the next row. If you want to compare fifth row, keep your cursor in the sixth row and the first column. And then a cursor, a split will be done above this sixth row. So you have to go to view tab and you have to click on split. So you can see on the split. The thing you have to observe is you might get now two vertical scroll bars. If you see that's the top vertical scroll bar and the bottom vertical scroll bar. Now what I've said is if you want to compare fifth row with 25th row. So I'll just navigate this way and you can easily compare. So comparing of rows and comparing of columns is much more easier into split. Plus whenever you want your work is done, you just double click on it and it will go back. The other method to remove the split is, suppose you have a split over here and if you want to remove it, you just click on this view tab split. So it will go back. So this way we have seen different types of uh, things with the workbook, that is the worksheets, hiding, unhiding and how you can go for split panes and freeze panes. That's all for this video.